The Fall Classic is back in the Bronx. It's game three of the World Series. And the scene shifts from Los Angeles to New York between the Dodgers and the Yankees. Uh, two starts in these playoffs, Clark Schmidt, nine in the third innings, nine hits, four runs, one homer, three walks, and six strikeouts. He's expecting them to be very aggressive on him. And he sees that Clark Schmidt is still walking up the back of the mound. Now Otani will restart his routine. He takes ball four. It's a four-pitch leadoff walk for Otani. He's aboard here in game number three. Schmidt comes back home and bats. It's a fly ball into shallow left field. Verdu goes on the call and the catch. This ballpark so much different, obviously, than Dodger Stadium. This is a short to right, short to left. Freddie Freeman, he was trying to lift the ball, I guarantee you. It is a fastball. It's ripped down the line. It is gone. A fifth consecutive World Series game with a Freddie Freeman home run. And the Dodgers are on the board first in game three. Incredible. Had not homered in more than a month. And he's homered at all three games. Well, this is a left-handed batter's dream ballpark. And when you make a mistake with your fastball, he's trying to go away. He goes inside, and he hasn't missed it. 2-2 to Hernandez. Bounces short for Anthony Volpe. Now it's Max Muncy batting in the five spot tonight. 0-2 oh, to Muncy. It's caught on a miss for strike three. The Dodgers feeling good. Freddie Freeman with a two-run homer in the first. It's been a season-long search, really, for Bueller. His first year back from Tommy John, he had a 5.38 ERA during the regular season. Torres leads off for the win. On base to open the game for the Yankees. Tenth time in 12 games this postseason. Soto comes to the plate to a great hand from this Bronx crowd. Soto on 2-2. Slashes about a left center field. Tasker Hernandez runs under it and makes the catch. Back to first goes Torres, one away. So now Aaron Judge. Yankee fans have been talking on social media about how they're going to welcome their captain home with a standing ovation. Judge swings and misses. Bueller with a cutter to strike him out. The numbers speak for themselves. He's going to win the MVP. When you show a little crack in the postseason, it opens up the arsenal. Pitchers aren't as afraid of throwing to you when there's a stretch like this. Sharply hit the short. Edmonds up with it, and that's a scoreless first inning for Walker Bueller. Pounds his glove as he walks back toward the dugout. Now here's Gavin Lux. He's a lefty hitting second baseman. The 2 2 cut out of this, not a breaking ball. So Lux strikes out, second strike out of Schmidt. And there are two outs in the way. Fastball with teeth. Strikes out Hernandez. One, two, three seconds for Clark Schmidt. And Bueller has one out in the second. Now the hometown kid, Anthony Volpe. His payoff to Volpe. It's cut on and missed. Life back to that fastball. That looks like the old Walker. Man. Sure does. Now so far, three, two counts, three, one counts. It hasn't mattered. Breaking pitch to finish off Rizzo. Walker Bueller with back-to-back -back punch outs. A one, two, three. Second inning, four pitch walk for Edmund. Second walk for Schmidt. His first was to Otani leading off the game. And then Shohei came around to score on Freddie Freeman's home run. He goes. Otani chops on right side. It'll keep him out of the double play. Torres to get Otani. 4 3 in your scorebooks, but Edmund now in scoring position for Mookie Betts. Big batter here for Clark Schmidt because I think that Aaron Boone is going to take the bat out of Freddie Freeman's game. Defensive swing, poked into right field. Soto's not going to get there. Mookie Betts finally. Finds a way to bring in Tommy Edmond. And the Dodgers lead three to nothing. But the ball was going to drop in. That was a breaking ball into the hands. Betts went inside out with a swing. And the Dodgers put another run up on the board. There they go. Here it comes. Muncie takes ball four. Bases loaded. And that is going to do it for Schmidt. He lasts only two and two thirds. Gives up only two hits. But the full walk spells his demise. Now a tough scenario to come in with the bases loaded. Trying to make perfect pitches. Clark Schmidt was not able. Three two. Is grounded back to him. He sawed him off and got out of the bases loaded jam. Oh, is that a big out? Whoa! On the schedule for New York, Trevino, Verdugo, and Glaber Torres. He's down on three pitches here. And Walker Buehler's got his fourth K. Again, you got to give credit to the Los Angeles Dodgers, their game planning and their pitching. Buehler will try again and succeed. Dots a sinker on the inside corner. That's four in a row via the punch out for Walker Buehler. Two gone in the third. Bouncing ball to first and Freeman, who takes it to the bag and ends this inning. Soto slams his helmet halfway up the first baseline. Tosses his equipment as Walker Buehler keeps the Dodgers in front 3-0. Judge 0 for 2 tonight. Now Jim Carlos Stanton. 
That's hooked towards the left field corner. Going to give the Yankees their first knock of the ball game. Hernandez to get it on the track. Giancarlo standing into second with a double. And finally, these folks are something to get excited about. Well, this crowd is doing their part. Started in the beginning of the game, but got the air taken out with the two-run homer. The Yankees, when they are at their best, they slug. And they hit with runners in scoring position. Line drive right field. Betts comes on and makes a diving play. Had to recover from the first step that took him back and did so to make the grab for out number two of Mookie Betts. He's played center field, but he can play shortstop. He's just a great defender. Hope he struck out swinging in the second inning. He's one of five Walker Bueller plays tonight. Hooks it into left field. That's down for a base hit. Here comes Stanton. Here comes Hernandez's throw. It is in time. Perfectly thrown. Teoscar Hernandez cuts down Stanton at home plate. Got him! An absolute hose from Hernandez in left. And Stanton nailed down at the plate. Teoscar Hernandez just kept the Dodgers in front by three and kept the Yankees off the board. No challenge. We go to the fifth in game three. Yankees will send up the bottom third Rizzo Trevino and Verdugo. Anthony Rizzo pops up the first pitch that Walker Buehler throws tumbles down to Mookie Betts for the first out of the fifth. Top left side won't be an easy play Muncy gobbles and throws in time. A little help in the fact the catcher was running two out. Hit hard to right field Mookie Betts on the run reaches up and makes the catch. Hit toward the right center field gap. Mookie ranged over and made the play. It's a 1-2-3 fifth inning for Walker Bueller. Cousins will now face Gavin Lux. One out. Ouch. Lux wears this one. Got a hit with two strikes. So a two-strike hit by pitch. Cousins puts Lux on. One out in the top of the sixth. There goes Gavin Lux running for second. The throw gets by Trevino all the way to the backstop. It bounced back toward him. But still, Lux slides into second without a throw. First stolen base for Gavin Lux here in the postseason. Gets in a scoring position for Kike Hernandez. Up the middle, base hit center field. Dodgers try to take advantage immediately of the stolen base. Judges throws not a time. And they do just that. Lux gets hit by a two-strike pitch, takes 90 feet with a steal, and the little things continue to stack up in favor of the Dodgers. That was not an easy trip around the bases. He's limping like an NFL running back after a long drive. Kike Hernandez, second hit of the ball game. Dodgers lead four to nothing. That'll bring up Juan Soto, who's 0 for 2. Walker Bueller was tremendous tonight. On this 3 1, he takes outside and has a walk and shoots a look and a smile out there. Here comes Aaron Judge. Well, here's the guy that's been missing for some time. Up the middle, Gratterall knocks it down, guns it to second, a high throw, but Edmonds able to tow the bag. Soto says, I don't know. Encourages his manager to take a look. Tommy Edmund needed every inch of his reach to pluck it. Well, he does a good job with his toe. Up the middle, it's a base hit to center. Second of the game for Stanton. Well, the Yankees have multiple runners on base for the first time in this game, and Jazz Chisholm coming out. Well, there's two on and two out, and they're going to call the lefty to pitch to Jazz Chisholm. Line drive right side on the ground. Lux has it, flips over to Edmund, steps on the bag. Stanton is retired, and that ends the threat. Just a soft liner on the right side of the infield. Lux fielded it on one hop. The Yankees strand two in the six. We go to the seven. They're analyzing the Yankees. They have just, well, they've been contained, and at times they've looked confused at home plate. Into right center field he goes, and Rizzo's find his way aboard again, and the ninth pitch dumps a base hit. Trevino will be Austin Wells. Aaron Boone went to Trevino tonight, but said Wells, somebody they still have the utmost confidence in. He's going to get a, a big at bat in this game. Fastball got him. Wells tossed the bat, thinking that was ball for low. Daniel Hudson will take that. Two down now in the bottom of the seventh. And gets a Pat on the backside, a couple of them as he walks off the mound. The Dodger will bring in the lefty Anthony Bonda to face Alex Verdugo. It's a four pitch walk. So the Yankees now get two men on. They haven't had two men on a lot. And here is Glaber Torres. 2 2. 
Strike three called on a pitch that was high. Labor Torres down on strikes. Aaron Boone and the Yankees can't believe it. Bunda got a call and gets out of the jam. The Yankees strand two more. A critical call right there. Mark Carlson rings up Glaber Torres on a pitch that looked like it was high. With Juan Soto waiting on deck. If he gets up there, he's the tying run, and man, Torres is still shaking his head over it. Well, the hard part is you don't get a chance to atone for if it was called incorrectly, right? Strike three, you're, that's it. That's taken from you. So, two way, and the Yankees down to their final out. Here's Alex Verdugo. 4 nothing Dodgers. They're one out away. High fly ball to deep right field. Betts goes back at the trick at the wall and gone. Alex Verdugo with the Yankees down to their last out connects on a two run home run. First home run of the postseason for the Yankee left fielder. And now they've got the top of the order coming up. Torres will be the hitter. And if he can reach, Soto would come up as the tying run. 2 2 to Torres. Bouncing ball towards the middle. Edmund with a spin and a throw. And the Dodgers dominate game three. They're a win away from a world championship. A 3-0 series lead over the Yankees.